Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this in this video, what we are going to see is how to the complex SQL queries. This post is only for educational purpose, and probably this method is not supported by Microsoft. But you can use this method in your lab. This would be the easiest method to uh, create or build a SQL query, right? Okay, so I'm going to go through some of the nodes in SCM console or configuration manager console and going to watch SMS provider dot log to find out the SQL queries related to those workloads, right? So before that, if you are new to SQL query and if you are if you are not familiar with uh, SCM custom report creation, et cetera, et cetera, there are a lot of blog posts available where we have already shared a lot of custom reports. The other option is uh, there are a lot of hundreds of uh, default reports, if I'm not wrong, uh, which is coming with SCM itself, right? If you go to monitoring and if you go to reports, you would be able to see all the reports available, right? You can edit one of those reports using report builder or something, and you can check the queries related to that that particular report. That will also give you an idea about which are the tables or views used in that report or functions used in that report. That will that will help you to create your own custom report, SSCM custom reports, right? Going back to our today's uh, discussion, I think I'm, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to go through some of the nodes in console. For example, I'm going to go through monitoring node and probably, and I'm going to monitor this log file also to get some equal query. For example, this can be a bit complex sometimes, right? So I'm going to go to deployments. Okay. And <laughs> that one click, you can see like it triggered a lot of stuff in this, right? So what I'm going to do is this is the one thing I'm going to try now. This is WQL query, right? I don't want WQL. I want equal query now. So let me search that with SQL. And you can see there's a huge SQL query that is used over here, <laughs> okay? So to check the functionality of the SQL query, I'm going to open SQL Management Studio over here, right? And select that and run it against my site database. So you can see some application details, uh, collections deployed to that application, up that application is deployed to collections, particular collections, et cetera, right? So that's that's interesting, right? So you can you can get this type of very complex query from SMS provider dot, dot log, SMS prov dot log, and you can see that it is this SQL query is using function rather than tables or views directly in the query, right? But this function is getting the data from the table. So let's go back to console and try to try to do something specific to some particular application or something. Okay. So I'm going with 7-sib, right? And trying to find out something, whether it came up with something or not. I just clicked on the 7-zip and I don't think that is, I don't know what is this exactly. Okay, this is something different, I think. So let me try to find out what is this 7-zip thing or the, probably it will sh give you, give us the deployment status of that particular application, this particular query, right? A uh, so, so big complex query. <laughs> It is huge. Let's execute this. Oh, cool. That that had given me these details, right? 7-zip application name, collection ID, collection name. That's pretty useful information, right? Deployment type name, 
that is also useful <laughs> okay and hmm, interesting it it gives the host name also okay probably this is the azure host name right not my vm name uh, but the physical server probably where i have hosted this so that's interesting and the technology is also available here so you can use this sql query to make your own custom sql queries right so as you can see there are constant values given over here so that is deployment deployment type ci etc etc right so you need to find out those things and replace with uh, the particular different <clears throat> different application if you want otherwise the easiest method is you can go to deployment and you can see if i click on cmp vet probably that will give me the cmp vet related related sql query over here and this is this could be probably the sql cmp vet related sql query let me try to and select okay that's cmp vet okay that's cool that is the one of the method i wanted to share today to find out the sql queries the easiest method to find out sql queries and create sql very complex sql queries and custom reports etc if you want right and for example just wanted to share one more thing so for example if you want to check the features and what are the features available etc you can check that also from here uh, okay probably this is the one yeah this seems all right and this should be the one where it will give you all the features list of features okay cool this is the list of features and you can see feature type 0 probably feature type 0 is pre release feature right as you can see over here this is pre release feature orchestration group uh, so that's why free feature type is 0 so this is very useful information uh, in troubleshooting or as well as in uh, to find out a uh, very complex or to build very complex sql queries i think that's it for this video thank you all for watching hope this was helpful you next time bye bye